scheißegal. Hm? Ist mir scheißegal. Ich nicht weiter dran. <lacht> Und wir haben ein Intro. <lacht> Ready? Go? Go. Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Speed Engineering based in Germany. I am Zoran, this is Dennis. Hello, this is Matthias. Hello. And the most handsome guy is behind the camera. This is a very short video just to give you a very quick update on our project, which is called the EV conversion of Jochen. Jochen was our race car, BMW Series 1114. Um, the car had at last at last point it had 204 boah wie viel hat mir 245 240 round about 250 horsepower and then we decided to get rid of all the combustion engine and uh, and the drivetrain and all that stuff and uh, no the transmission and um, to replace it by a Tesla Model 3 was wrong. Model S. Model S motor. <laughs> and um, with uh, Porsche Taycan batteries. But um, we will go into detail about the batteries and all that stuff when Alex from ESDE EV Technologies will be back here. But today I just want to give you a very quick update just to let you know that this project is not dead, that it's ongoing and that we had to wait um, really plenty of time for some uh, special items um, to connect the uh, motor with the um, with the sag mal Kardanwelle jetzt auf Englisch Matthias was heißt Kardanwelle? Driveshaft. Nein, nee, Driveshaft. das ist Antriebswelle. Antriebswelle. Wait a second. Komm, jetzt wollte ich einmal kürzen, okay. ey, scheiße. <lacht> Kardanwelle ist äh, das kann man nicht Oder propeller chef. Propeller chef. Propeller chef. It doesn't sound properly, but I was okay. It's Kardashian wave. <laughs> <laughs> propeller chef. Hope you guys uh, know what we mean. Otherwise, please use the Google Translator. Um, type in propeller chef, and uh, you will see what's it called in 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 German. It's Kardanwelle. That makes sense a lot. <laughs> okay, let's go to the car. I will show you how far we got. So this is our get rein jetzt, verdammte Scheiße. This is our car without an engine, without uh, uh, the transmission. Everything is cleaned up. So what we did now, or what we will do is, we will have, and I will show you this uh, on the um, on the screen. We will design brackets for the motor. The motor will sit about here, roughly, and we will try to use the OEM connection points. Um, where the connection points for the engine was before. But it will be a little bit tricky, you will see it on the, on the screen. On top of the engine, because the engine is way smaller than the, than the uh, no, the motor, you say motor. The, motor, the electric motor is way smaller than the engine was before. That means that we have plenty of space on top um, or still under the bonnet um, for some battery cells. I think it will be six six or something like that on top of the motor and in the rear so where the trunk is we will have we will have nothing i can show you because someone closed the trunk and i can't open it right now but i can show you under the car So, what happened underneath the car? Um, we got rid of everything. So, we um, disassembled the front axle with every single element. We disassembled the rear axle and uh, also the frame in the front, the main frame of the rear axle and we cleaned up everything in the first point. Um, the previous plan was to uh, disassemble also every single bushing, to get rid of every bushing and to replace them by univalve bushings. Um, in 
during this process, we also wanted to give every single item a new paint job. Um, or I think it's called powder coating. Um, like to sandblast everything and then get uh, everything coated fresh. But then we said um, we would do it the other way around. We would just clean everything up, fix everything which is damaged, so that everything is nice and 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 and, um, and the function is is uh, properly. And then we will put everything back together with just one replacement. It's the differential. The differential is now a limited slip differential from Drexler um, from the 135E, uh, which is completely new, made by Westwood Performance. Thank you, therefore. And um, this is the only thing we have changed. Why? Because we said we will. We want to get the car running, and if everything is going properly, then we will. Um, replace again every bushing because it's quite easy uh, to disassemble the rear axle and also the front axle of this car it's it's done in less than two hours and we didn't want to waste any time by doing all the details new while the car or the the, the main project is not going well so first we have to um, yeah we have to assemble everything uh, we have to make the brackets we have to get the car going and then we can go um, further for the details. Details means that if everything is running well, we will replace every bushing of this car by uh, aluminum bushing and uniball bushings, um, also those camber arms and everything. Um, the suspension is still perfect, it's a Bielstein Flugsport. And then we will close um, the bottom of the car completely from the front to the rear and we will design our own diffuser. Our own diffuser will close up with the bottom of the car so that we will have a perfect airflow and a diffuser which is really, which has a function. Um, I think that's it so far. Uh, yeah. About the details, to be honest, I can't tell you anything about the details when it comes to the cooling because this will be uh, a try and error process. Because cooling of the batteries is something different than cooling um, engine oil. And uh, therefore I think we have to, um, we have um, a, a roughly calculation, but uh, we have to do simply the try and error method and measure it uh, and to figure out how big the cooling really has to be or how efficient it has to be. Um, because as mentioned in one of the previous um, clips, uh, the, the cooling of the battery is almost as sensitive as the temperature range of the human body. So we just have a temperature range of around about 10 degrees, if I remember correctly. And this is not a lot. So um, that will be quite interesting. Uh, also, we will make a custom brake cooling, uh, cooling for the brakes on the front and on the rear. And we had an idea to close all those gaps here. Um, just for the efficiency of the airflow, because this is not necessary, and this will also be unnecessary for the cooling. The main cooling of, uh, of the water intercooler um, will get its air from here, and this will be useless. And um, yeah, but this will follow in the next steps, and now I will show you what I mean by um, designing the, the brackets. Oh yeah, here you can see it. Kardanwelle, propeller shaft. <laughs> um, if you take a look at this screen, here you can see now the scan of underneath the car and underneath the bonnet. And now we are looking, now this is the view if you are looking um, under the hood in front of the car. And you see that the, um, the, the electric motor is already placed and um, this is how it will look like and we have to adapt brackets we have to adapt brackets which are connecting the OEM connecting point of the previous engine with this point which is on the Tesla motor on the left, on the right and uh, also on the front, which will be quite a challenge. Uh, so it means that we have to find some new connection points maybe on this wall here. And on top, we also have to design a plate on top of, of the motor to place those battery boxes, as you can see here. 
And yeah, I was right. There are six. And now let's take a look at the trunk, which is the last step for this video. As I promised, this video is quite short, just to give you a very quick update what we're working on. And uh, this designing will be done today and tomorrow. Uh, this is how the trunk will look like. So you will see here, here six, eight, nine, nine, nine battery units. And um, yeah, we have to design brackets for those nine battery units, which are capable of um, 20 G? Yeah, of the force of 20 G. This is what the German TÜV TUV wants us um, wants us to do um, to get uh, the certification to be able to drive this car legally in Germany. So this means that uh, we will have to simulate 20 G on the on the weight of those battery units. And uh, yeah, so you see that some weight will be added to this car again, as we lost a lot of weight. And um, yeah, let's hope that we will, that we will aim and that we will um, reach our target to have this car at around about 1,300 kilogram ready to race. That was, that was the target. Um, yeah, that's it so far. Um, by the way, we are also working on some other interesting projects. Um, maybe you know our Suzuki Swift. It's not our Suzuki Swift. It's the, it's the one from Lada Manufaktur. Um, this car will come back and we will uh, do a white body kit for this car. For our own Hyundai i30N, we are also doing a white body kit with a German TUV. And the car will also get a roll cage and it will also get a TCR rear wing. Um, it will also get a new turbo, as you can see here, which is a prototype from the Lana Manufaktur. And, yeah, some parts like those, which are the parts of our very first own designed hanging wing. This is for the Supra now, and uh, we are adapting this wing. When the first prototype is done for the Supra, we are adapting it also to BMW M2, M3, M4. Uh, Toyota GD86 and all that stuff. Yeah, this is what we're working on. Um, parallel. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.